Hey, it's Darren Steele here, and I've been giving some thought to the difference between a reactive and a proactive mindset. Now, I was reading something by Stephen Covey the other day. He was talking about one's circle of influence in life. And, you know, your circle of influence could be something very small. It could just be your immediate family, your partner, uh, your friends, or maybe you have a massive, massive circle of influence. You touch, impact a lot of people in the world. Now, the latter, a large circle of influence, is going to come from someone who has a very proactive mindset. Someone who has a very small circle of influence, well, they could be one of two things. They could be a very shy introvert, and they might not reach out and might not want to talk to a lot of people, but that doesn't mean introverts or shy people don't have an impact in the world. It's more so if you have a reactive mindset where you're seeing things that are going on outside of yourself and, you know, working really hard to try and affect or control those things, those things outside of you, you can't control. You can't control the weather. You can't control what other people do. Proactive mindset is knowing that only you can make changes from the inside out. So how you think, how you feel, the actions that you choose to take, the way that you choose to respond to a situation is is attractive, meaning that will have other people come to you because they'll like being around you because you are open, you are creative, you are more responsive, you are enlarging. And that can bring more people into your life to build upon an idea. Now, there's a couple different ways of working on this concept. I wanted to talk about something a little bit more subtle. Now, it's it's probably really easy to figure out who the reactive people are in your life and whether or not you have that history. And, you know, full disclosure, personal story, I, I grew up, I think, in a, in a way being trained um, by my mother, and this is not to blame her, to be very reactive to things. And I was a very sickly child, so my allergies and hyperactivity were, were very much a reaction to external stimuli. So that sort of wrote a pattern, a programming in me that took a very long time for me to realize that it was hindering my personal progress and my personal growth, limiting the kind of people I could attract into my life, limiting the, the business growth or the influence that I wanted to have on other people. So working with a client recently, I was thinking about this because she has a lot of stuff going on. And it's not that she's reactive in the sense of explosive or being negative. There's a wonderful, loving, kind, generous, enlarging, creative person. But she doesn't have a lot of organization. She hasn't created a lot of priorities about what needs to happen first. She hasn't looked at all the things she needs to do in life as individual projects related to outcome goals. And that's something I'm really working to help her with. So when we don't have clarity, we can fall into reactive mode. Um, and that's what I mean by the subtle sense, because we might be really good, happy, engaging, proactive people to in relation to the other people around us. But if we don't have control of our day-to-day -day things, if we're always being distracted by shiny objects or 100 emails a day, um, forgetting to respond to some particular phone call or errand or event, we will always be reacting to the minute of life. We won't be able to take action on the larger things. So that's my point for today is to pay attention perhaps to maybe two points today. How about that? Look at your way of responding. Do you react? Or do you take a breath when something is unsettling or troubling and think about how you're going to respond? Do you find yourself you know, all over the place, kind of a, a whirlwind of, of, of tasks, one after the other? You kind of feel like you're jumping from one task to another, and yet come the end of the day, you don't feel like you've accomplished anything. If you're like that, you are reacting to all the small things. So instead of that, can you look at what needs to be done in your day and figure out 
what are the top one to three most important tasks that you need to accomplish? And can you schedule time in your day to do that most important task before any of the others? Not only will you accomplish more, but if you can block out all of the other distractions for one to two hours, if you can focus on that task, the feeling you will have inside of yourself will be enlarging, uplifting, and will move you much more into a proactive day and a proactive mindset. So let me know in the comments below, um, what are you reacting to on a day-to-day -day basis, however large or subtle, and what's one action you can take right now to be more proactive?